Who here has health care? Uh, you do? Wow. My son is on medication. <laughs> Through uh, the school. I bartered photography for acupuncture. <laughs> <laughs> we have private option for a while, and we were paying close to a thousand dollars a month. As far as health care, most people I know are still have it. I'm on, uh, you know, I go to the clinic, free clinic. If I'm unemployed, all I do is juggling jobs and juggling jobs. Isn't that absurd? Well, though? Is a big I mean, issue. That, 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 that most of us, if you know, somebody lost yeah. a job, we have nothing. I have no fucking idea what these people are talking about anymore. I think a lot of people don't understand. I mean, I don't think anyone almost, like, almost no one can understand. I definitely get the feeling that the Congress people and the senators don't understand. You know what I'm saying? Like, as often, I mean, that thing is a monster. I mean, they were having the you know, town meetings about. The healthcare plan when it was first presented. Perhaps, I, I mean, I know this because my grandparents went to one in Georgia, and it was. I mean, it was definitely there was definitely an agenda. I'm interested in what's going on, but I wouldn't know where to go. And what y'all are talking about just sort of interested me because I thought I could come down here and see what's going on. Yeah, it's all crazy right now. I don't know why any of them ever talk about it. You know, like nobody I know ever talks about the fact that we're still in Iraq or Afghanistan. Ever. We're always talking about our own stuff. I think it's like I feel like I know enough about it to know that like I don't really. Right. This is like what I say is not really going to. But like I mean, everybody's talking about healthcare, and it's and it's on the precipice. It could go either way. Like that's where we talk about like being able to have a change. Like that's where we can make a difference to a certain extent. I think you know because because it's like I mean this, we act today. It'd be fun to do something. I think it'd be fun. You know, and it's necessary because like it's, the Congress isn't doing anything for me right now. You know what I mean? Like we might as well do something ourselves. Then I would try to do something that was kind of a little bit hip. It's great to have fun, and I love fun as much as anybody. I love fun. But I think that the danger of having it be fun is that it it can feel frivolous. Uh, yeah, I'm good at sex. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so I just was talking to my friend on the phone, and her niece will only go to meet guys and socialize at nonprofit events because she wants to feel like she's contributing something to society along with getting something social back. And it, it, Good for her. And she said it's a huge trend, though. I mean, this, this is a very normal thing for the Generation Z. So I think that, that having the fun but having this kind of message of empowering to say your opinion, your voice counts, it's kind of back to the vote campaign like we talked about in the museum last yesterday. Vote, it doesn't matter what your view is, but be active and not suppressed. And to me, personally, that's the difference between the approach. Well, you got festivities going on, but I'm looking for learning and workshops. Something that you can do and takes back with you from it. You're not going to leave just thinking about politics. You're going to leave thinking, hey, I just learned how to do something. Well, I think it's. I do think it's important to have you know non-electronic media dialogue about these discussions, and I think. Um, to sort of confront the, what I think is called apathy, but I don't think that there's actual apathy. I think there's some type of... Um, oh, I'm Randy from North Garden, and I'm here because I want to see something That's done fine. differently. I'd like to bring sexy back to the political process. And I'm here because I want to be able to talk with real people about real issues that are affecting all of us and, um, and have a forum for um, affecting change.